going on guys Greedo XP here and we're back again with another NBA 2k22 my team journey video and it's the final two sets for NBA 75 it's the 60s and it's the 70s and boy we have a lot of cars dropping like a massive amount so 60s and 70s with Dark Matter Cat We'll talk about him in a bit. So there's Dolph Shades, Agent Bump, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So we're going to open some packs. I think we're going to open a lot. We did have good luck last week. Not a good start this week. Huh? Where? Where? Huh? Russell Westbrook. I mean, huh? Alter ego Russell Westbrook's in these packs. I think we had too much luck last week. Um, send player to my auction. Send uniform. Sell these guys. Uh, we'll open, I think, three. Uh, get a shake. Get a pink diamond now. Depending on who it is, it's a center. It's from Celtics. I think that's Dave Cowens? Cowens? Yeah, it is. Dave Cowens. Okay, okay. We'll take that. Uh, I'll send all to my auctions. I'll sort that out later. Now, he was going for a bit earlier. He is 100k, 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 100k. Mm, yeah, buy out, buy out, buy out. Night five. Ugh, if I sell him for 90, I guess we'll take 90. Oh no, not there. Not that. Right, we'll sell him. Get him gone. The 70 set is looking a bust apart from Alex Gilmore, who is looking very, very good. I think Knight might be pushing it. Uh, might put it up a little bit cheaper. No, we'll go. Uh, we'll go with 88. Oh, come on, slow, slow, slow. Go with 88. Let's undercut that guy. If it goes very AK. That's not too bad. We'll open two more packs. Yeah, that will take you up to five. This packs are disappeared. The packs are back again. We'll open two more. So that's five. Not too bad. We're not done too badly on them. Oof. Not as good as last week. Patrick Ewing and Gary Harris. Uh, I don't think so. Um. Mm, okay. And we'll go with one more. Terry DeShinger as a lock-in doesn't look very good. Well, he looks okay. We get... Duh. What? That is just dreadful. Uh, one more. Yeah, we'll go one more. That's six. Shake. Another pink diamond? Okay, we'll leave it at that. That'll do. Power forward this time. It is from the 76s. This must be Billy Cunningham. I would guess. Mr. Down Under himself. Billy Cunningham. Okay, so not too bad. I'll take that. And we get Terrence Main as well. Uh, that lot can go into the bin. Too bad. Has Cohen sold. It hasn't. That's not good. Uh, so Billy Cunningham is going for I guess not a lot he was at 40k I'll look on the auction house it'd probably be a lot easier because there's that many cards up so a lot of them are not really that usable I would say, sadly. 
A lot of cards out today in this set. He was about 30k. <sighs> NBA 75. Of course, I forgot he was in one of them sets. Um, okay, he's a bit more than that. So I don't know whether I might sell him actually, to be fair. I think I'll sell him. So there's one that's just gone up for 46, but he's way under the price of everything else. Uh, yeah, 46. I might sell him to get him gone for about 40. We'll take 40, I guess. Um, I, because I'm never going to use him. And his price will tank even further. So we'll get him gone for about 35k. I don't think we're going to get anything for Dave Cowens, which I've got a funny feeling. Oh, it's 33. He's gone. That's probably made some of my pack opening packs up. But yeah, Dave Cowan's price is, I guess, very cheap. Love, love, love min buyout. So yeah, someone's undercut me. I'll put it for 88k. Someone's already put one for 80. I could be cheeky and buy it. <laughs> My what will sell? Uh, I, I guess Billy Cunningham will sell. But yeah, these new cards that are out. Well, let's start with Carl Anthony Towns, whose dynamic rating has gone to Add Art Matter. He has 17 Hall of Fame badges, including Sniper, Blinders. Um, set shooter, which is just horrendous. But they've not altered his stats apart from his three point shot. So he still is, he's got very whiffy speed and vertical and lateral quickness. And his tendencies, apart from contest shot, are not very good and has an 80 foul tendency. <laughs> He is a buyout. And he's the only Dark Matter in packs today. But yeah, he did score 60 points last night. So obviously, they're doing something with dynamic ratings. They need to do a little bit more if they're going to be actual usable. But yeah, he's... He, 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 he not that good. You're better off getting his two Opals. Because they are bear cards. Because <coughs> if you waste money on that... Or you can be dumb like me and lock the set in. <laughs> As you do. Right. So. This set locks in for Terry Dishinga. Who apparently has disappeared. <laughs> off the face of the earth. And he's got two mystery... What? Two mystery players? Okay. Uh, so Dolph Shays. Mr. Dolphy Dolph Shays. Remember his alter ego card? It was very, very good. 6-8. Power forward center. Don't play him at center. Trust me. It's not worth it. He has intercept, intimidator, rebound, chaser. Limitless spot up. Sniper. Yeah, he's pretty good. Uh, clamps on gold, though. Quick first step, dead eye. He's okay. He's okay. Um, uh, he's missing blinders. Um, yeah, he's there. I'm not bidding on it. Uh, he's there. Let's put it that way. Uh, 94 three-pointer. Passing stats okay. Good block. Steals meh. Good perimeter. Good interior. Great rebounding. Eh, not bad speed. He's okay. He's okay. Um, let's get rid of that. Elgin Baylor. Usually also very good. There's not actually a lot of Elgin Baylors up. Uh, six five. Uh, you play it small forward or shooting guard, so obviously you would play him at shooting guard. He has Hall of Fame clamps, intimidator, in interceptor. I can't get my words out. Quick first step. Uh, great under pressure, fast twitch, menace. Um, I think he's missing shooting, but he has limitless spot up. Again, dead eye. 
Sniper. He is. He's. Okay. Missing blinders. Um, has uh, 89 free ball. 90 driving dunk. Passing stats are okay. Great defense. Uh, great rebounding. Brilliant rebounding, actually, for his position. And very good speed. Yeah. He is okay. I think these two will be the. Probably the bottlenecks in this set. You have Wilt as well. It depends how many people pull Wilt. Because the 80s bottleneck was Magic. And then Clyde Drexler. Who are the bottlenecks of that set. More Magic than Clyde. But Clyde you cannot buy for a buyout. The 90s D-Rob. Hakeem Olajuwon. And Shaq, but I did see some Shaqs yesterday for a buyout, so uh, it's more D Rob and Hakeem. Hakeem is actually usable, so I can see Will being a them three being the longer heads of that set. Bob Pettit is, um, uh, Bob Pettit. Uh, <laughs> uh Limits for Shaqs, he's got more badges, not bad, he has good. Stuff on gold as well. Uh, power forward center. Again, you wouldn't play him at 6'9 at center, but hey, if you want to run small ball, that's a good three point. <gasps> three point different. Have a hiccup. 93 block, 92 steel. Interior. Where am I getting that one from? Good rebounding. Uh, speed is a bit iffy for this time of year. Bill Sharman, you can't get him. He's like Dwight Howard, unalterable. Uh, this card was the loggerhead in the set in the 60s. Um, Mr. Jerry West, he was going for about 500k earlier. Uh, a lot of people panic sold because Terry Dishinga isn't that much of an imp uh, improvement on his ice stat one. He's okay, he's good, but is he Cedric Maswell? Is he Chris Mullin? No. Not really. Uh, so expect all these, like, back-end guys, like the, the lower diamonds and amethysts, to be on the very cheap side, like the, like the other sets have been. Uh, on the 70s, you've got Walt... Who is actually playing for the Knicks now. Not playing for the Golden State Warriors. He looks meh. Pete Maravich looks good. Just has a normal jump shot. Jerry Lucas. Just, yeah. Yeah. So it's three. Four Opals in this set. Rick Barry is barely any of them out. And then you got Dave Dubichard. As a pink diamond. So your lowest rated cards are Dave Bing, Oscar Robb, Bin Son, and then Bill Walton, and Tiny Nate, Wes Unsold. And yeah, there you uh, things. Ask Gilmore. Apparently he's turned into John Cena. <coughs> it's not available. <laughs> it's not there. Challenges. So there'll be a new skill challenge. 60s and 70s. These have been just random all over the place. Win the game, grab 20 rebounds as a team. Uh, you're playing Dolph Shays, Clyde, and Rick Barry. I guess if you use a tall lineup, I think you'd be all right. <laughs> you'd be snagging rebounds. Well, probably Tristan Thompson would be a good one as well. Because he's got 99 rebound stats everywhere. Right. Uh, 60s and 70s. There is 11 loads of XP. Good grief. So, steals with the Boucher. Uh, 10 rebounds of multiple games with Elvin Hayes. 10 rebounds. Really? Old Monroe, 15 assists. Well, that's all. 60 points with Elgin Baylor. Good grief. 40 points in the paint with Dolph Shays. Pettit is 15 frees. 15 frees with Sharman as well. Uh, 60 points with Rick Barry of multiple games. Walt Frazier's steals. Jerry Lucas is 15 blocks. Pete Maravich is 15 layups. Really, I would have gone for freeze with him, but 
Uh, you get a post score um, thing with it. <clears throat> as far as HP, by the way, we're level 39. We did take clamps. Now, why did I take clamps, you'd say? Well, I really, really like Cade Gunman. My Cade didn't have clamps. I took clamps and put it on K Cunningham. Why not? Because I like using him. He's now on 20 halves. With the other one, so there's Sniper, there is, and Pickpocket. I'm more likely going to take Pickpocket because I'm going to put it on Kate. Why not? I like Kate. I'm going to keep him. We still have some stuff to do as well. We can literally back into getting Ray Allen. Um, Billy Cunningham solves that's made made some MT back I don't think I'm going to get anything for Dave Cowens which is going to suck because someone has undercut me um, that's the problem though with these two sets have a lot yeah I have been undercut there's a hollow one going for 64k it is what it is. I pulled it out of a pack if I get 20k, I get 20k. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys had better luck than, well, did better than me. Until next time, guys, have a great rest of your day. Um, take care, and yeah. Bye.